is Matthew Platt. I'm an associate professor here at Morehouse College in the Department of Political Science. And today I'd like to talk about Title 42, which is the name given to the policy that has been using the public health emergency of the COVID-19 pandemic to reject potential migrants at the southern border. So the idea is that because we are trying to stop the spread of the virus, if we had a bunch of migrants coming into the country that we were not able to provide sufficient health screening for, then we basically would bring in a bunch of infectious people introduced into the population, which would then spread the, the disease more widely. So that's the idea. This was created under the Trump administration when COVID first began back in uh, March of 2020. And when President Biden was elected, part of the thought, especially from kind of the activist immigration, pro-immigration constituency within the Democratic Party, was that one of the things that the Biden administration would do would be to lift this particular policy. Because the idea is that while certainly there was a valid concern, perhaps about the spread of disease, that in reality, the policy fit within a broader effort by the Trump administration to just end migration and immigration to the United States in general. And so part of the Biden stance is that they're supposed to take a slightly, at least, more open attitude towards immigration. And so using the health emergency just allowed them to basically cut off the flow of immigrants to the United States at the border entirely. In the past two months, this problem has been even law, become an even bigger problem in the news because we would now have this image of Ukrainians at the southern border being let in as exceptions to the uh, pandemic policy, while kind of darker skinned immigrants from Southern and Central America are still being subjected to the policy. So you have this real kind of racial inequality that's happening on happening in practice right now. And so the Biden administration want feel the pressure from the left to absolutely kind of end this policy. Now that the policy has been ended, there's a lot of pushback from Republicans, but more crucial perhaps to the Biden administration that they're getting a lot of pushback from more moderate members of the Democratic caucus itself. So here, Georgia Senator, Morehouse alum, Raphael Warnock, has joined with a group of other senators that uh, are sponsoring a bill to reinstate Title 42 until the entire public health emergency has been uh, has been ended. So basically they are saying that as long as the government has other kind of COVID-19 pandemic policies still in effect, as long as Health and Human Services is still treating this as a public health emergency, then the immigration policies related to that emergency should also still be in effect. My take on this is that the Biden administration is trying to do the right thing in the sense that if you want to have a hardline immigration policy, then you should have Congress or the executive branch deal with a hardline administration immigration policy on their own terms. You shouldn't use the pretense of the pandemic in order to get the outcomes that you want. That would then allow voters in a right, democratically accountable system to decide for themselves, do we want hardline immigration or do we not want hardline immigration? In other words, the Biden administration is at least trying to be more honest about their policy goals. And ultimately, I think that's a win for democracy.